Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another live stream. I hope everyone is doing wonderful. Let's just quickly see who do we have with us today. We should scroll up here. We have Dunkle Aura, of course. We have uh, Raphael, David, and we already have an abnormal sausage. Thanks a lot for the follow on Twitch. Uh, David Troopshaw, Quiz Engine. Crimson Muck, hello and welcome. David is getting coffee. We have McDoodle, we have Yellow Belly, Josh, Tolmac, Waiting, Way What, Waiting, Cosmic. Good evening, everybody. Thomas, Christian, Shark, Shark Bar, <laughs> I think. Derek, who do we have over on? We have. Crazy over on Twitch, hello and welcome. We have Tall Gulden I think, sorry, probably boosted that, but good evening and welcome. And we have Kerry Martinka. Martinka. So says hello from Georgia. We have finally stopped raining. I wish it would rain here in Denmark. Right now we have Ah Tall guy. Yeah, okay. Tall guy. Ah, tall guy now nah, Netherlands. I get it now. Tall guy Netherlands. Yes, that makes sense. And hello, I'm Mumble Sausage. No, I wish it would rain here because the weather is too good in Denmark at the moment. And I know this is a weird thing to complain about, but that means everybody's going outside, even though we're supposed to stay inside. Anyway, how's everybody doing? Yeah, David, we have not really the, we are the tube's not really an issue here, but David says that London seems to have a fair number of idiots overpopulating the tube. Here it's just parks um, anywhere with a spot of grass, basically. Oh yeah, and today's mark is the 2A mark. And to one up it all, I even have my commander t-shirt on today. So we are flying in the proper attire. Did I miss the cup presentation? No, but I'll do it again. There we go. Today's mock is the D2A mock. I need to expand my selection of, uh, of mocks. <laughs> Forced to work from home? Yeah, count me in. So in the daytime, I'm sitting here writing code and in the evening, I'm sitting here playing computer games. <laughs> okay. Now, before we get into, um, into tonight's live stream, I just want to show you guys something because this is actually pretty awesome. So if I just quickly pop over to this screen here, this is, let's do this, let's zoom in a bit. Um, on Sunday, I started a fold at home team and we have the D2A fold at home. If you haven't seen the video yet, I don't know what fold at home is. It's basically, it's a project where you can install some software on your computer. It will then, when you're not using it or however you set it up, 
it will then use the spare resources to do protein to like simulate protein folding, which is then used in um, in the research on the coronavirus. So I set up a team for that, and so far we have. It is since we started Sunday, we have had two hundred and eighty five active CPUs. That's single CPUs, not cores, not threats, individual CPUs. So that's probably related to computers. This could also be a graphics card, for instance. That would also count in this case as a CPU. It's just a compute unit, right? Um, and you can see here, we have a whole long list here of absolute rock stars. Everybody on this list is absolute rock stars because they've been helping folding proteins and it's a long list, as you can see. I even spotted who I think I saw spotted you. Was the Crinchbone here? I thought I sort of saw him in chat. But I spotted at least a few of the guys in chat, I think, uh, on the list somewhere. But yeah. Absolutely amazing. You can see right now, again, we started on Sunday and we are currently th our team ranking is 3,242 out of about a quarter of a million. That means we are getting awfully close to being in the top 1% in the world. So if you haven't watched the video, I highly recommend you go and do it later. And it's a good way to spend the compute resources that you probably have lying around that you're not using when you're, let's say, sleeping or doing something else. You can have that running in the background. And you can do other things. You can also do like cancer, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, all kinds of good stuff. I just wanted to mention this because if you haven't seen it yet, um, then this is something you should consider. I uh, I think it's a great way. I had both, obviously not right now. You can actually see if I, let me just quickly jump out of this uh, full screen here. I have the software running, it's right here. Um, come on. There we go. But you can see right now, of course, I have it paused because I'm going to be live streaming here in a second. So I'm not using any compute resources at the moment because, well, yeah, we're going to be live streaming. So I don't want this to be sitting, eating up resources in the background. But as soon as the live stream is over, I'll boot this up again. So let's, um, let's jump into today's activities. Let's just get rid of that again. Don't leave that open. So the job today is I want to run a few missions for Terex. I haven't done a whole lot of work for Terex lately, so it's about time I do my part as well. And um, if you don't know, Terex is... I can just get in-game, actually. There we go. Terex is our uh, in-game faction. Um, it's just a fun little faction we use. We try to, to expand, have as much uh, influence in the galaxy as we can, get into new systems, take over systems that we can and we can get our hands on. And this is done through, oh, by the way, thanks so much for the follow on Twitch. This is done by altering the background simulation. So that would be boosting some factions in some system, causing, like pushing factions into different activities. You always seen when you go into the galaxy map, you've pr probably seen it, that you have uh, all these different states. And it's basically, that is what BGS is. It is altering altering the systems or running missions or doing activities in the various systems to push systems into different state states so that it benefits the faction you're working for. That doesn't always mean just running missions for the faction, but it can mean all kinds of other things. There's a lot of tactics and planning going on behind the scenes. And if you're interested in that kind of stuff, there's plenty of people on Discord. But if you want to join this, I'm going to show you today what it's like. If you want to join this, Dong Laura has just posted a link for Discord over there pretty much what you do is if you come over here to discord when you join you will be here in the uh, in the bot channel and you will have a message that will post to you there that will show you exactly what you need to do um in order to get these news feeds and what will then happen is you will then every day you can see we have Pashful here he has been doing the daily orders for quite a while now so we can go and we can see, okay, what's the daily orders for today? So orders for the 24th and the 25th of March in descending order. You ladies, work for Terra X, trade, bounty, missions, cargo. Take us up three take us up, take us to expansion, 3% needed. So that means we need to be working in you ladies and we need to be either doing some trading, bounty, hunting, mission running, trade cargo with the station. 
anything to give us 3% influence so that we can be pushed into expansion. So we want to get into, you can see here, we have the expansion state. We want to push ourselves into that state so we can go into a new system. Great. Um, secondary goal today is Dadal, where we need to go and fight for party of Dagapoi. So we have a uh, another faction here, not ours, but another faction that we need to fight for because they need to take over or they need to be put in a position so that uh, a system is more favorable for, for our goals, right? Um, so those are two orders today. So based on that, party so if we're going to be doing some bounty, not bounty hunting, if this is probably conflict zone, so I would assume there's a war in Dadaal at the moment. Should we just check Dadaal? Or it might not be the controlling faction that's in war. Um, yes, but I think today what we'll do is we'll go and I'll probably take, I would love to take out the blunderbuss, but if we're gonna go and do um, conflict zones later, I think the better choice would be the cucumber, because the blunderbuss is not that well suited for something like a conflict zone. If we're just running bounties in uh, in Hasbro sites, then the, the blunderbuss would be perfect, but... I think I'll go and take the cube cumber out today and then run, see if we can pick up maybe some combat missions here. Or if this thing runs out and something gets a little boring, we'll move over here and we'll run some, some zones over in, uh, in the Dal. But to start with, let's find ourselves the correct ship. Oops. And let's get going. Do I have to apply for the Terra X Squadron? Uh, you don't have to. I mean, if you get into Discord, um, you can, of course, just see the daily orders and uh, oh, not squadron leaders. You can then see the daily orders and you can just run them. You don't again. You don't have to join the in-game squadron, but if you want to, there we go. I am. You're more than welcome to. This just means that you will get to fly under the D2EA banner, as you can see on my commander name, probably somewhere that we can't see right now, but basically, in your name in the chat will have a D2EA tag next to it. But no, we have, yeah, exactly as we said, we have two factions. Um, actually, if we go in here to la, 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 squadron, brow squadron, we have the Terra X Astro Corp. Uh, you can see the squadron here, right? It's called Terra X, Terra hyphen X Astro Corp. That's the Terra, that's a background the BTS focused one. There is another one um, called... Called out with astronomy. Nope. Can I even spell my own channel name? Is that it? Okay. T two eight. There we go. That's the other faction um, running more non BGS focused. I originally created two of them because I wasn't sure how many people would be interested. As you can see now, we could have kept everyone in one squadron, but there is two. You can apply for either of them. It's fine, but the Terra X one is the one that we are focusing um, on um, on BTS with. So let's go and let's get a cucumber. There we go. Yeah, I probably missed that off the typing up of it. Okay, let's go and let's find your rates. It's right there. Beautiful. Let's just get this over to star class again. There we go. Two jumps. Oh, yeah, far from home. I can, I can see that's our home system up here, LP. We actually moved quite far, expanded quite far by now. That's pretty neat. So let's go over there and uh, do we have any system information on the target system at all? No, we don't. And I, uh, God, I forgot what's been. Hold on, I need to. Uh, I just need to start up. Game glass. I should start up here in the background. I haven't set up the whole auto starting thing on this PC yet. Combat is in Dadal. Yes, I know combat is in Dadal, but. I'm hoping that I can go to you ladies and find some 
like hunt the pirates captain or pirate lord mission kind of missions or just run some uh, some bounty hunting for a bit just so we help uh push us up the last three percent after we've done a little bit of that we're gonna move over to uh, the dal and uh and do the combat there so we'll do some combat in both places i don't want to swap ship in the middle of the whole thing okay let me get my my tablets over here oh. Didn't that log in? It did. Hello, over on Twitter. We have Sodoty Dog, we have Picard. Million Tick Binis. Hello and welcome. We have Hastas over there. We have there's a could filter for fuel stars. <laughs> I've been flying so much by colonial that I just by uh, just been like muscle memory that I pushed the main trigger. Thanks for the follow on Twitch. Okay, let's see what kind of stations we have here. We actually have a, a large station. Oh look, I got that. It's actually our own station. That's perfect. Ten light seconds, that's pretty close. There's some conflict zones. I assume it's not us. I uh, see there we just actually less than three percent. We just need us a seventy-five for isn't it seventy for expansion? Seventy-five? Yeah, we have two here in uh, in a war. War right now. That's fine. Fair enough. You will welcome address. Hold on. Does this system have any? Okay, we do have some ring planets out here, so there's a chance we're gonna have some um, some resource extraction sites. There we go. Now oh, I've got Game Glass up and running. Okay, it is 75 for expansion. And then it's what? Is it 60 for hostile takeover? Crazy asked, where do I find the orders? Because I can't find that on Discord, or am I just blind? Basically, if you if you are in the uh, in the spam chat, you can see here people are typing rank Terra X, and then the bot will say you've joined Terra X. If you then scroll down, you will see down here there's a Terra X area where you will find um, where you will find stuff like a faction faction news channel there, right? And in the faction news, that's where you see daily orders. So they're posted there every day. Oh, okay, let's get our ass in the station. Oh, 
three niner. That's right there. Yeah, we split it up on Discord so people can join the faction separately because some people, if they're not interested in BGS, might not want to have all that extra clutter on the server and don't want notifications when new orders go up or stuff like that. Okay. Um, let's see what the faction has to offer today. Well, that sucks. <laughs> we only have source and return missions as well as some data retrieval assignments. Okay. Don't think I have anything to hand in at the moment. No. Okay, in that case, we'll go out, we'll see if there's anything to do in uh, in the rings, and if there's there should be some conflict, or like conflict zones, some hash rate sites. Um, if there's not, we'll go over to Dadal, and we'll do some combat there, and then we'll switch over to a more appropriate ship for... Oh, little dolphin. Give way for larger vessels. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Um, if you're on Xbox or PlayStation, you can still work for the faction because Xbox and or the consoles are and well, let me try again. BTS is cross-platform. It's the only part of the game that is cross-platform. So even though you are on Xbox, you can still go and you can still run the daily orders and it will still count towards the faction. So yes, but there's the squadron, no. And there's a non-official one um, on Xbox. Yes, exactly. BGS is cross-platform, so you can work on the uh, on the console support. Do I have my combat shot? Yes, I do. Did the squadron work like a mid? No, the squadron factions have not necessarily anything to do with each other. They don't have to. In our case, they do, but squadrons doesn't necessarily have to be a faction, and a faction doesn't have to be a squadron. They're two separate things. Kind of new to Elite Dangerous. What is BGS? BGS is the background simulation. That's the, the way systems change, how they change state, how factions go into war. And you can, as a player group, alter that and control or try to control it. Okay, what do we have here on this one? Well, that's no fun. We only have a normal and a low. Okay. Then we'll just start by Indadal instead.
and then we'll come back here later and see if we can do something to help that uh, push that expansion the last few percent And we're asked to work for who? Party of the Garpoi in Dadal. Oh, this is perfect. I completely forgot that. I have a problem that my, my tablet is too slippery on the back, so it keeps sliding all over the place. But I actually got rubber feet. I can put on it. I'm just going to do that so it's not all over the place. And I'm going to try to do that while live streaming and not crash into a star. It's just going to be perfect. There we go. Get this in the right direction. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> oh, the, I'll show you guys. So the problem is, I have a tablet, right? And it, I, I like to lean it on the uh, on the palm rest on the keyboard when I'm using it. But the problem is because it's so slippery, it keeps keeps sliding down and almost fall off the table. But now I just put four rubber feet here on the back, see these black ones, meaning that now it sits there just nicely. Perfect. Okay. Where are we going? Okay. No conflict zones as of yet. Night. Yes, I'm on my way to some PPU. We're gonna look for a uh, for a conflict zone. Yes, simple solutions. I I can't remember. They the the feet came with something that I got recently, and I forgot actually what it was that they actually were supposed to belong for. But this is a very simple solution. I don't overcomplicate things. Okay, what do we have? Here we have a hazardous. <laughs> now we have. Oh wow! Look at that. Okay. Two hazardous and three highs. We have a low intensity, medium intensity. Please tell me there's something better. Oops. Can't use the FSS. I think I could, but it's fast. I just normally just run around the system to find them. How do you control the speed on landing? What do you mean? Who is Terra X? Terra X is our in-game faction. Hello, Run, Run and Heather. Let's see if we got anything better out here. Medium. Is that all we got? Looks like it is. Okay.
in that case, we'll be running some medium in intensity ones, I guess. And who are we fighting? We're fighting for party of Nagapoi, who is in a war with chapter of Isenor. Oh! Well, if you have, I have my Isenor permit, so I guess they can't take it away now that I have it. Do we have an official logo? Not yet, but it's a good idea. Yes, as, as the Canadian is also saying in chat, I think there's a chat behind a question about ship builds. This may be an odd question, but what do you use to fly and lead? Uh, well, most of the time when I'm just, it depends what I'm doing. I mean, Elite is not one of those games where you just build a ship that does everything. You build a ship for a specific purpose, as Canadian also said. Right? You, you purpose built them for one thing and one thing only, and that's it. So I have one ship I use when I go out and do video recording, and I have this one I use for, for one type of combat. I have another type of ship that I use for another type of combat. Then I have two different mining ships, and I have several sizes of other side kinds of ships. Depends on what you do, what kind of ship you want to fly for today. We're gonna fight for the dictatorship. Okay, let's see what we got. Let's get some weapons out. Okay, Python. Let's get in nice and close. Oh, I'm not flying the blunderbuss. That was a pretty good attack run. Yeah, he is gone. Next. We have a challenger. No, I don't have five cutters anymore. I think I'm down to three cutters now. I have... What is it? I have one for pure transport. That's just a trade cutter, right? Just as much cargo as I can. Then I have a mining cutter. And I still have the diamond card I use to hunt um, low temperature diamonds from NPC miners. Obviously, that ship is not seeing as much airtime lately, as it's not really working at the moment. But I still have it. So those are the three ones I have at the moment. And I only have one Corvette and one Anaconda. See, he's a lot more annoying. Just gonna give him a little bit with the multi cannons to break his shields while he was trying to get it up with uh, his shield cells. And follow him around. There we go, he's chaffing. Gonna unlock him. Which is not gonna help us much. 
Gonna have more pips and soup. Gonna try to be a little bit more conservative with the energy and just use my multi cannons now so I can put more pips into my. Uh, I can use my pips for for just uh, just the multi cannons right now. So I have a chance to keep up with this guy. Maybe we have the pips into systems here. I shouldn't have used my lasers there, that was stupid. Oh well. Uh, I actually think I do, yeah, I do have a fighter bay, but I I should look into getting an NPC crew member now that you can... Uh, now that you don't, you don't lose them. I mean, it's not like I need the money. Daily order number three, go down and like the stream. <laughs> yeah, you're right. There we go, that took a while. Well done. Defeat enemy spec ops. We have spec ops? Oh, we do. Spec ops alpha. Oh, and they're here. No, that's not a normal system. Okay, let's see if we can find those spec ups again. Spec ups beta, let's go for this guy. Oh, he's far away and almost dead. Never mind. Spec up wing, oh that's our spec up wing. There's the alpha. Thanks for the follow on Twitch. Thank you, Warrenstein, for the 10 euro donation. Wow. Hold on. Uh, Piff to weapon. Shield boosting, so we're gonna use the multi cannons. Bit of a bump. Come on! He's almost there. There we go. There's how she shield is down. Yep, she's gone. And we have the last spec ups. Joseph, thanks a lot for becoming a Patreon. I have no idea if you're in chat, but if you are, awesome stuff.
Boom. That should be the last spec up. Yep. Okay, we got a Crusader. There's ray lasers. So beam lasers, yes, beam lasers do more damage uh, than burst. But burst has its benefits as well. So yeah, exactly. It depends. If you have the power draw and your capacitor can handle it, then sure. Then I think beam lasers is the way to go. But in some situations you might be better fitting more of less powerful lasers, if that makes sense. I think this guy lost his engines. Look how he's spinning. Yeah, his engines are gone. I'm gonna chase him down. And we're gonna... Boop. <laughs> nice. Just a gentle little boop, just to uh, to let you know that we're here. See, we can catch this guy here before he. Uh... Can we get a few hits in? Yeah, we have confirmed hits. Massacre contract. Mission giver. So the chapter, the chapter of Isenor, the the fact that we're currently slaughtering just say, hey, by the way, could you go and kill someone else for a bit? Just get not not here. <laughs> one down. Keep going, oh, can we kill steal this one too? Oh no, we can't. Ah, uh, we can kill an asp exploder, deadly asp exploder. There we go. It's over. Let's just finish up this asp here before he runs. He's doing his level best to run. That's for sure. I think he's going to get away. Yeah. Uh, come on that's the problem with this build being so tight as it is it takes forever for the frame to drive to get back online when you're done Yes, a good point. Uh, if you want to join the MPS to private group, as Dunkler also posted, um, you're more than welcome to. It's a PVE only group, meaning if you decide to go and shoot someone in the group, or if someone shoots at you, well, if you shoot someone, you'll be kicked, and if someone shoots at you, you just let me know, and they won't be in the group for very much, very much longer. So there we go. I don't know how quickly these things they said they made some changes in the last patch to how quickly these things should reset. So let's see if that actually works it actually looks like it worked well done frontier oh, oh I thought we had an anaconda okay gotta kill a crusader Yeah, 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 it's okay. He is not gonna survive long. Ah, 
getting into a turning fight with him. Oh, he lost his engines again. Right. Yeah. <laughs> everything is actually jet. <laughs> this <laughs> shield boosters, everything of this guy is just gone. This is not. <laughs> he has his FSD, his power plant, life support, power shield generator left. How is this thing still flying? <laughs> he has nothing left. <laughs> okay, let's put him out of his misery. Oops. Oh, his shield generator is still working. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> Protect allies' correspondence. Oh, God. Repco, uh, no, not back from the honeymoon, and I actually haven't been <laughs> not married yet. Problem is, we have to move the whole thing. I've just postponed the whole thing because of the whole thing that's going on at the moment. So the whole thing has been pushed to September. Which is quite annoying, but what you gonna do? What's going on here? Hold on, give us a time to fully recharge. Daka, 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 daka. Commander Revko, thanks for following on Twitch. Okay, let's get this guy down. Can we give him a little... Whoop. And finish it off. <laughs> uh, it never gets old. What else? Chieftain. <laughs> okay, never mind. Dead Chieftain. You're on a roll, Commander. <laughs> Hi Mao, thanks a lot for the follow on Twitch. No, I didn't make the honeymoon. The honeymoon has been postponed. Together with the wedding, everything is going to be moved to September now. We hope that the, the world is not locked down by that point. Thanks for the follow on Twitch. The deadly poop, yes. <laughs> Like, hold on, I'm just... Where is his... Drives? Oh, there they are. Let's see if we can hit his drives. Yeah, not at this angle. And we need to follow him around this turn. Yeah, we need to turn, need to see the back of him before we can... We gotta have any chance of... Hitting those drives. Okay, I've got a few hits in there, but not enough. Got a few good hits in on the drives. Pretty gone. Thanks for the follow on Twitch. Oh, he's not dead yet. I'm sitting here thinking he must be dead by now, but nope. Uh, 11 kilometers. I'd rather go for almost full health one at nine.
And again, just cycled through his drive. So I want to see if I can get his drive down again. That was pretty fun last time. There we go. As long as we're shooting him from the front, we're not gonna hit the drives at the back. Oh, we actually almost got them. There we go. Drives are down. Boom, it's gone. Thanks for the follow on Twitch. And what do we have? We have one up here who's just got out of range, but if we're quick, we can get him in range and get him with the long range lasers. Oh. Yeah. We got hits. <laughs> Hope so. By September, we'll fold enough proteins to salt this malware. I sure hope so. Ah, 1%. The Red Cat, thanks a lot for the follow on Twitch. Oh, we go. You do not have sound again? Oh, uh, hold on. Give me a second here. Let me just fix this real quick. Yes. And okay. And desktop audio. Audio. What? You're not hearing the notifications? Oh, <laughs> I forgot to turn. You don't have game sound either, right? Right. There you go. My bad. Hey, well done. Did I win? I think I won while I was not looking. Oh, you did have game sound. Yes, of course you did have game sound because that's a different... Sorry, I'm still. I a couple of weeks ago, I completely reworked my um, a very low game sound. Okay, I can pull the game sound up a bit. I redid my whole sound setup a couple of weeks ago, and uh, I'm still sometimes forgetting how uh, the whole thing was actually set up and how I actually because there's so many different sources and things going back and forth between two computers. It's got a lot more complicated. I just need to get used to it. <laughs> I was just looking away, trying to fix the sound, then I looked back and the whole thing was over. How much do we have now for um, the party of the Garpoi? Thanks for the follow on Twitch. Uh... I need to find an interstellar factor at some point. Just hand all this stuff in. 
like 1.1, 1 1.7. Yeah, 500,000. We can go a little, we can go one more. All the followers on Twitch, thank you guys. Let me actually just get over here in the other computer. Yes, Interstellar Factors. It's, uh. Oh, hold on. Do we have a game crash? This looks like a game crash to me. Computer's running fine. Is this a game crash? Come on. No control, absolutely no control here. It's not even crashing, it's just stuck somehow. Nope, I think this is... Yeah, this is gone. Oh, there we go, forced to... Yeah, yeah, let's just send that to Frontier. There you go. Now you go and have a look at that. But it didn't... <laughs> okay, I closed it and it sent the bug report, but it didn't sh kill the game. Hold on, is Monster Hunter World still running? No, it's not. I'm not playing Monster Hunter. And uh, let's kill that one. There we go. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Twitch. Hooray for the first game crash of the day. I'm on my third. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God, I love that new blueprint. The human malware. Has mutated the computer. Oh, it's all the protein folding. Um, hold on, I should actually check that. I don't think I'm folding. I should have paused it on the main PC as well. Let me just hold like this out of the way. There we go. Let's just. I did pause it, right? I I'm not currently folding on this computer, am I? Uh, yeah. And Roristeen, thanks a lot for uh, for the donation again. That's awesome. Yes, I am paused. I'm not folding. Perfect. Hold on, where, where did the... Oh, abnormal shortages. He's threading down a difficult path, a, a dangerous path now. Whether fleet carriers will be delayed. There's been a lot of speculations, of course, and... Right now, the only thing we have to go by is the announcement from Frontier, where they say it's not going to be. But, I don't know. I mean, many other companies are having a hard time at the moment. Um, to be honest, if Frontier would have to postpone it because of all this, depending on how long this is going to continue, I, I, I wouldn't blame them. <laughs> Terry says, giving the rest of us a chance to catch up on points. I have been folding quite heavily the last couple of days. Both PCs running simultaneously with pretty uh, pretty good hardware. I could do a full... Whoops. Whoa, hold on. Um, I could do a full fold in about 50 minutes. On the main PC. Oh, okay. We have a few pythons here. That's nice. How are you doing for ammo here? Okay, there's a lot of enemies and not a whole lot of friendlies this time, so we better be a little bit more careful this time. No, we're still okay on ammo. Okay, let's get this guy down. 
Hello, Squeakenheimer. Squeakenheimer. Haha. Hello and welcome. No, you get a poop. Nope. But I got your shield. Should we try to see if we can get his power plant? Just for hell, hell of it? Oh, we got spec ups. Let's just finish off this python. Let's go for... There's the spec up alpha. Gotta snipe him from this distance here to start with. Just to soften his shield a little bit. Would be better if I had pips to weapons. God, these guys have a lot of shields. follow. Fertilance is a bit of a tough target to take on. Fixed weapon style here. Aha. Even in PvE, the fertilizers are annoying. Yes! Just gonna take him on fixed weapons. And there we go. Oh! Okay, now I got him. Nope, and uh, he's chaffing. Come on. Almost got his shields now. Take them down with the late of the multi cannons. There we go. Now we're working on this hull. <laughs> the NPCs have managed to take down one of the other spec ops. This is taking too long. Still chaffing. Oh, the amount of chaff on these guys. Oh, hold my fire there. Uh, 
And there goes the chaff again. Finally. Oops, it's fine. Okay, here we go. Okay, we just need the, this last bag up then. Should give us a lot. And he said 1%, and he's gone. Elite Python. Thanks for the follow on Twitch. Well done, Commander. Well done, Commander. Let's go out after this uh, this challenger here. There we go, got his engines. Oh, you mind now. And three, two, one, and boop. Push him around a bit. Okay, four percent, two percent. Not now. Try to see if I can catch up to this guy. Oh, his shields is online. See if I can take down the shields without destroying him. Ah, slowly catching up to him. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> oh, this is gonna be the world's slowest ram. No, I thought I had him with my nose. I want to get underneath him. Like this, yeah. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> and now we probably have quite a bit of a yeah, 30 glove at this back. <laughs> Hold on, I have something behind me. What's that? Oh, it's been a viper who's been following me all the way out here. Well. It would be rude not to, I guess. It's a brave little one, I must say. Can we, could we find his drives? Where's his drives? It's difficult on a Viper though, but we'll try. support maybe is that in the front oh got a few good hits and on his life support there I'll take him out with the lasers is that gonna push us into victory nope okay how many rapids do we own at the moment? Two. Yeah, there's been some switching out through the years, but currently we have two. Yes, that is the two on the uh, Porsche window. The be right back. Okay, what's left to shoot at? Oh, an eagle. Eagles are fun. If you can get in close and get them relatively still in front of you, they are gone in no time. It's the them sitting still part that's often difficult. It's an engineering way to improve the agility, I guess. Yeah, lightweight it and engineer the engines is probably your best bet. Okay, that was it, right? No? Oh, there we go. Hello, Dragon Eye.
Okay, I think it's time to... Oh god, hold on. Uh-oh. Please tell me there's a station with a large landing pad on some of these planets. Yeah, that's definitely not it. Nope. Oh god, no. Well, damn. <laughs> okay. We have to go and pick up another ship then, in order to hand in. David, you would have to remind me, sorry. Okay, so we're gonna head to Shinraja, we're gonna pick up another ship. if I have a ship that I could use to go directly back to your, your ladies and run some missions there. Mm. Alternatively, we could go and just do some quick scans and collect some scan data maybe. Could do that and just dump some, go through some cartography dump, that should work as well. Because the missions there, they were just source and return, and there was a planetary scan mission. Neither of which are... <sighs> Not too exciting. So I think I want to try to make find something else. Yeah, yeah, I know, my shields are without power, that's okay. Maybe we should just go and... I'm thinking what the best course of action now is. If we wanted to go do some work in uh, your ladies as well. I'm thinking... Get a small ship. Get back, hand in the combat bonds. Um, oops. Try not to do too much to shame. Then go and find them instead of factors. Just get rid of all those... All those um, bounty credits I've collected. Or bounty vouchers, or whatever you want to call it. What do they even call them themselves? Claims. All of these. Gotta get rid of those. And then we might want to go and see what we can do in your ladies. Maybe we're just gonna find something that could be useful as an exploration ship. I don't know. Oh. Uh, 
Get the cutter. The cutter would be overkill, I think, for the source return missions. It's often so small amounts. Unless, because none of them were wings last we checked. We could be lucky and get a wing source and return mission. Then it might actually be worth it. But I think the time invested in doing wing source and return missions for the reputation gain is not effective. Four zero was that the one? Yes, the one to back towards the back. Commander, reduce your speed immediately. Gah. Only speeding a little bit. Oh, too fast. Put that down for a quick stop and there we go. We're doing under 100 slow down here. Yeah. Okay, let's see what I have lying around of ships. There should be something here. We have the Sidewinder that could. We have the Speed Devil. That would be a good option. Core Hunter, probably not. I still have that lying around. Yeah, okay. A Diamond Snake. Blunderbuss. Camera Conda. Then we opened all the bigger ships. Gold Digger. Hey. I think I'm gonna take this one. I haven't been flying this for years. Mm, do I own a cargo python? No. But that would be a good option. Let's just quickly see how this is fitted. From the name, I think somewhat for speed. Empty hard points. Empty utility mounts. It's stripped down, that's for sure. A rated power plant, that's a bit of a waste, isn't it? Enhanced thrusters, frame to drive, lightweight, a lot of the stuff. It's not like fast, fast built, it is pretty fast. Fuel scoop is actually at least it's fitted for range. It has a, a V bay as well and a detailed surface scatter. So we could. This is a good empty internal. Oh, we have two empty class ones here. I should fit some more cargo. There we go. That should give it a pretty decent jump range. Yeah, it's not too bad. Okay. That was the Dal. Oh yeah, we are going to the Dal. Of course. But damn, this thing looks good. It even says racing on the side. You are go for departure. Woo! <laughs> yeah, it moves. It's not up in the 800s that you can get some ships, but... It's definitely not slow either. Yes, yeah, yeah, you're right, uh, Donglor. We are going to the Dal now to hand in the combat bonds we just did, so we actually contribute that as well. Then we're gonna fight into Stellar Factor, and then we're gonna head to you, ladies. The ladies, the ladies. If you're doing over 550, you're living the dream. Well, I don't think I can do 550 uh, without boosting, but... With a bit of boost, it can get there.
Jacob, I'm just gonna, I would have died just then. <laughs> you mean flying out of the mail slot? That's okay. I don't even remember why I built this. Probably because something fast, but I forgot how fun it was to fly. Do 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 do. I'm just gonna go and get a better look at this thing. Just with all the accent lighting on this ship, it just... God, that looks good. <laughs> I think I have two pythons as well. People say they got three pythons. Oh. I don't have a cargo python. I have a passenger python that's docked out in Robigo. I have I have a mining python. What are my thoughts on the Mamba? Mm. I'm, oh, hold on. That's a bit of a glyph, glitch. Look at that. Can you see that? The uh, the the interface there. That's something that's not right there, for sure. Please fix. Um, what's my thoughts on the Mamba? Um, I kind of got a, a how do they, got off on the wrong foot with the Mamba because right after launch, it was just not a very good ship. They have changed it somewhat since, and I know a lot of people like the Mamba. Maybe it's about time I give that a second go. Dragon Eye, this is an Imperial Courier. It's small and it's fast. And it has a good jump range as well. There we go, that's the station. We facing the wrong way. Hold on. Bye, bye, David. Oh, hold on. Oh, cause they have no uh, combat bonds. Yes. Okay. That is done. Uh, let's just quickly jump to Inara. I forgot. Keep forgetting to install the market connector. Systems and stations. We zoomed in a bit here. Yes, we are. Nearest. Interstellar factor Caps lock is on The Dal Okay So If we go to a mini Because I don't want to fly Fly, fly 35,000 light seconds just to get to a station um, So we're gonna go to a mini And we're gonna do it from there.
What do you mean, Dr. Laura? Sorry if I missed something. Five stations in normal space? Uh, yes, people asking about the shield calculator, that is definitely still um, in a working order. If you go to the commander's toolbox, you can find it here in an online version. That's the latest updated version. You can still use the local one if you want to run it locally, but it's probably a lot easier to just run this one, and it's also a lot faster. This one has been optimized quite a bit. Um, but yeah, here you can use it if you want to. It's basically the same thing. You now have sliders, or you can just type in values if you want to, and then it will calculate stuff for you based on uh, based on the inputs. Um, but yeah, Commander's Toolbox, Shield Tester. Do remember that the site is still under construction, and I know it's been under construction. Okay, Dog Laura is faster than I am. It's been under construction since forever, but I'll finish it soon enough. At least to a point where I want to to launch it properly. Um, but yeah, other things that we have on the site while we're jumping here. Um, the material finder, of course, if you're looking for specific materials, like, I don't know, chemical manipulators. Oh. There we go, chemical manipulators, and you can see these are manufactured chem chemical, you can see the different, and you can say, oh, I only want to see, I say that I only want to see uh, capacitors, and I only want to see, I don't know, grade 2, let me, hybrid capacitors, stuff like that. Lots of filtering options just to make it easier, and of course, they also have... Um, where you can find it, and there are video guides showing you. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, loud. Um, showing you how to do it if you are in doubt where how the different method works. How can I find conflict zones where Terra X is involved? Well, the best way to do that, if you uh, absolutely want to, now first of all, you should try to follow the daily orders. There will, from time to time, be. Um, um, there will from time to time be... Where the hell is it? Squadrons? Oh god, I don't know. There's another commander. No, it is, it is squadron. Why does it take me directly to the squadron page? This is, it's normally dead. Terra X. There we go. What you can do is... There we go. This is the page I'm looking for. Here you can see the systems that we are currently in. This is the list of systems we are currently in. Um, and the systems where we were in a war. Here we go. You can see this red dot here. The conflict is ongoing. That means in San Yax right now, you can see here that Terra X Astro Corp is currently in an election, so that's not really war because we are both a federal corporate, so that goes into election. So we have an election here. So we're not currently in a war, but if we were, there would be some, uh, there would be a red marker here. But what you, if you want to go and fight, if you go and look at the daily orders today, you will see here that the daily orders, we actually have combat for fighting for the pilot of the Garpoi, which I just did. So if you want to fight, uh, there is an option for it in the daily orders. Right now we're heading over to uh, to the instead of factory. Then we head over to uh, to Eurydice afterwards. But for now, a mini. Let's go there. Yeah, the shield test on the website is so much faster. There's been some amazing work. Um, even the guy who ported it. There was, after it was initially launched, there was a few guys who, like, we were sitting on uh, on uh, GitHub and they were coming up with suggestions to how to speed it up and how to, um, how to improve it in general. There's been a lot of work done to it since. Again, the online local version is still available, you can still get that, but normally I try to direct people in over to the online version because it's faster and it's more convenient, to be honest.
and it's a lot it's a lot easier to sit and do prototyping right if you're just sitting and you're playing around with it um it's a lot easier to sit and just play around with the values and just calculate and you get the answer right away and then you can say oh what, what if i allowed prosperity you don't have to sit and wait for it it's a lot more convenient latest edition of course multi-route stop planner i could actually use that today but i didn't allow you to put in multiple locations like let's say i want i don't know oh thanks for the follow on twitch we want to visit like a few engineers like this uh Let's just add in Shinrata Deshra as well. There we go. And let's say that I want to find the fastest route. Um, the fastest route between these. You can see the order they are right now is 1800 light years. If I click optimize. It figures out the fastest way to get between those systems. Um, or the shortest uh, route between the systems. And I could first say, no, I want to start in Shinrata. Okay. Then it says, now it starts in Shinrata. And I could say, I want to stop in Shinrata. Then obviously, it's going to be a longer route because you need to get back to the start. But then add Shinrata at the start at the end. So you're going to go in a loop and it figures out the, long, the fastest loop around it. So you can sit and plan your routes if you have multiple stops and, and, and optimize your routes. It's pretty neat. Just send an application to join Cherex. Let's just fix that real quick. Squadron management, applications. Welcome on board, Commander. Ah, interface. Go away. Oh, I think it just managed to power off the wood. That was stupid. There we go. Saved it. Okay, it's gonna be a pretty steep approach corridor here. I think we're actually good. <laughs> nice. take a trip around the station here see this is an annoying one to get into because you can't get a straight line into the actual landing pad ah overshot it there we go Does Teespring support adding notifications for bought merch during the stream? Ooh. Mm, no, maybe. Maybe YouTube has done... Okay, so the, the thing is, all the notifications is run through Streamlabs. Stream, Streamlabs? Wow. Is run through Streamlabs. And they're the ones capturing all the stuff and pushing the notification to the live stream. Um, but Streamlabs have their own merch store. So I don't think they're going to integrate with Teespring. So if I had to get notifications running, I would have to do it through another way than through Streamlabs. Or I should switch over to, to the... Uh, switch over to the Streamlabs... Yeah, Streamlabs merch store. But the problem is the Teespring one is more closely integrated with YouTube because they have a partnership and they're gonna like integrate Teespring into YouTube so yeah yeah you can't have everything I guess even though it would be really nice to have notifications when people brought merchandise and live stream as well okay let's just go and visit that interstellar factor look at that I have almost 10 million in, and this is with minus 20 25% but it's a lot faster than having to go around to all these different stations so I'm just gonna yoink that one okay 
Next up, you ladies, you ladies, whatever. Yeah, if, if I can get the notifications, I would have to add it as another browser source, but then the notifications wouldn't be looking exactly the same. I'll look into see what I can what I can do. I haven't actually noticed if there's been anything bought doing live streams. Okay, let's get to a station. Oops. And let's see. If we can't find ourselves some interesting missions to run here. Before we end the stream, it could be fun to just do a little bit of work. Oh, we are so close. 73%. Use that gravity will slow us down. Oh, this is going to this is going to be a quick one as well. I love this little ship. It's so fun to fly. Working towards Terra X for fun or another drive here? Well, it's to help uh, give the faction more influence. Give our faction more influence. What do those influence mechanics actually do? Okay, let's just walk over this system then. So you can see right now we have 73% um we have 73% influence when we hit 75% influence we will be kicked into an expansion state because our state right now is none but if we go to some of the other factions you can see this one for instance for instance is in a state of war i think yeah yeah war and we have others okay there's the only one that's the two factions in war but when we get to 75 we will then be pushed into expansion this will then push us into a new system and that can somehow be con a little bit it can be controlled if you're very careful and you plan all the systems around you but it all depends how the systems around you look then you will be, be then all factions will be pushed into that system as well and that's how you expand into new systems so that's why we're right now we're trying to get as much influence as we can in the system um see that is typical that's typical now i get a five plus take down the pirate lord mission that is annoying oh what it gives biotech five biotech conductors oh but i want the influence Oh, but also want the biotech conductors. But five pluses on influence. Okay, you know what? We're gonna take this. 
and we're gonna tech we're gonna test the blunder boss we're gonna go back to uh, to Shinraja and pick up the blunder boss and then we're gonna test that in a situation like this because i think this blunder boss could be perfect for these kind of missions so i'm gonna accept that one we have some massacre missions here to massacre some pirates in system to kill 15 pirates this is also a pretty good one 15 p uh, kills of a specific faction for five pluses that's also pretty good and we have another one here eliminate three deserters there'll be another system oh, okay this might actually be illegal Yeah, yeah, okay. And we have some source returns. Where we need to go and get stuff. And then we can hand in for influence. And we get 5 plus as well. But let's do this one. Let's go and get the blood up us. There's some pretty good missions now. Because I think it could be fun to go and take down a pirate lord in the blunderbuss and see if it can do it. Okay, there's a... Uh, what's that? Asp something? There we go. Perfect. <laughs> Look at our flight patterns here. <laughs> All over the place. <laughs> Just Yes, I also missed the wing delivery missions. They were so fun. my mouse there it is Now, whoops, one thing that I'm a little concerned about by taking the blunderbuss out for this is that these kind of ships normally have a lot of support with them. And the blunderbuss is not really meant to be shot at. So we need to take down that ship quick. And if they're flying something quick like a Fertilance, we're going to be in a whole lot of trouble. But if it's something like an Anaconda or something like that, then we might be better off. Uh, my module storage is okay. I think I have 110 modules stored right now, so I have a little bit of room, but not a whole lot. I could use more, that's for sure. Rip blunderbuss. Yeah, this might be a blunderbuss rip. We'll see. It's okay. I can take a rebuy. I mean, we just handed in all the, the bounties, so... <laughs> Geek Boy says, evening fellow self-isolators. Exactly. Come on.
Okay, pick up the blunder bus. There we go. And it's just for good measures, let's just pick up some. Ah, it's maybe overkill. It's 10 limpets. And off we go to Bayoy, Bayoy, Bayoy. I have no idea. Two jumps. This one is fast as well. I don't think it can pass the 550. But it's damn close. I think it reached 530 there. Oh, 31. <laughs> 531. Yes, this is the chieftain. The blunderbuss. William says, just wanted to say thank you. Your material finder Excel has come in handy for engineering. You're very welcome. While we're jumping then, I don't know if you know, but it now exists on the commander toolbox as well. It's the exact same data, but now you have the option to, uh, to filter or even do text searches. If you're searching for a specific material, should make it a little bit faster. Okay. We got a mission update. Make contact with the informant in some neighboring system to find out the target's location. Okay. Let's go there. But yeah, you will welcome. Very welcome. Do you think we'll get large size alliance ships? Mm. Maybe. I mean, it would be a natural if they were to add a new ship that would be a large version of the Alliance ships. And... If they did, it could be a... It could be a competitor to the Corvette, I think. So, now what? Hello, Mr. Informant. I'm gonna scan the nav beacon. Hold on, do I have a uh, firing group with my detailed surface scanner? Now I do. Let's try to honk the system. Hold on, I got a message. Okay, so he's in system here. Thanks for the follow on Twitch. Get over and see if you can find. Okay, so you need to find a a sippy. Thanks a lot for the follow on Twitch as well. Now I don't think we have him yet. Now where is he?
Oh, low wake. There he is. That is awfully close to a star. Yeah. No wonder I'm gonna overheat if I'm gonna go in there. Hold on, I need to get away from the star and then I need to get back in at a better angle. Yeah, we haven't even found the target we're supposed to kill, and we're already taking damage. Okay. Nice and cool again. 3, 2, 1, fast approach. Heating up. Okay, we're just going to power through it this time. 71, 74, 76. Warning. That's the warning. We have 20%. And he disappeared. The wake disappeared. Okay. And we dropped. God damn it. He have been he must have been on the exclusion zone. Uh. Stupid NPC. Oh, three hundred times. You know. Yeah, I'm just gonna get some distance to the star and hope he's not gonna drop right on the exclusion zone into the star. Nope, I don't think I have a heat sink. I have. Nope, I don't have heat sinks. Okay, we're gonna cook on the way out though. How bad is this? Uh, it's it's manageable. Watch us cook. Oh, look at that heat. Oh, this is not good. Ah, line with escape vector. Oh, here comes the cooking. <laughs> oh, 150%. Uh. We might have to dog up. <laughs> no, no vent laces either. Again, this ship is not designed for this at all. Okay, where is this stupid NPC? Because I might just kill him instead. There he is. Kirk, thanks for the follow on Twitch. Wolf, thanks for the follow on Twitch as well. Okay, so I'm just gonna sit still here and wait for him to come to me. Hello, Jonathan. We have modules down now that in the 70s, that's no good. Incoming mission critical message. Uh <laughs> I have to drop down to tell me he was in the area.
Oh yeah, he's in the neighboring system. Wonderful. Let's just... For good measures, the station should be pretty close. Okay, it's not at all. I'm just gonna go and repair this thing, because that was a little bit too much heat damage. Oh... And watch this as soon as we find this guy. He's just gonna completely rip this ship to sh to shreds. And <laughs> we have to go and get the... And we have to go and get the... Uh, you know what? Because if we dock here and we lose the ship... We're gonna reappear at this station. You know what? No. We're gonna go straight for him. Just gonna go straight for him. Chick, stick, scars, and glory last forever. You're <laughs> right, Kirk. Repairs be damned. Smite your enemy. <laughs> okay. Da, da, da. Oh, there we go. Okay, so how big of a rebuy am I about to buy? Oh, five million. That's okay. Okay. Only thing I'm worried about: how's my weapons doing? I don't want a weapon malfunction. They're okay. Hello, Shadow Light. I'll put this in combat mode and get the Kudo Scramblers ready. Now, I hope this guy's flying something big and slow, like a, like a fiddle ship would be good. An Anaconda would be good, but I don't think they're going to be, going to be an Anaconda. I would hate if he's in something like a, like a Fertilance. That would suck. <clears throat> Probably is going to be in a third lance, but let's see. Yeah, Mamba would be annoying as well. But anything like a fiddle, anything, basically gunship, dropship, assault ship. Um, the alliance ships, uh, I wouldn't be too happy with those, but... It's okay, I could I could live with those. Ideally an anaconda would be best. Yeah, it's probably gonna be You're probably right. Where is that? So now we just wait. That's a signal source. It wouldn't happen to be that one. I don't know how to assume it is. They usually pop up. Ooh, it's a high grade. You know what? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> but yeah, dark side. I think you're right. It's probably going to be a fertile land with vulture, vulture support, which is pretty much the worst you can throw at this ship. Well, the best for them, worst for me. Because this is designed to fight a single, slow, heavy ship and not multiple small, fast ships. Mission critical message. Is it all proprietary? Oh, some core dynamics. I have room for those.
Oh. Is that him? It is. Haha, <laughs> he's in a bed. Nope. Okay. Let's just get around this guy. <laughs> Perfect target. You don't goof, mate. Bye bye. <laughs> Get wrecked. was perfect <laughs> oh what did he drop <laughs> it is ships like that that this ship is designed to kill it is purpose built to kill ships like that they're big they're relatively slow and they just have a huge hit point pool <laughs> Oh, I love that. That was perfect. <laughs> and these ships are normally very well engineered. <laughs> well, that was easy. <laughs> oh, that just made my day. Thank you, TerraX, who never disappoint. Lynx, thanks a lot for the follow on Twitch. <laughs> okay, was that it? Are that all the components? No. Pick up the core dynamics. Is it too far away? Yes, it is. Shield emitters. Uh, full of that as well. Just gotta take the core dynamics. Okay. Let's head back where we came from. In this spider wave of jumps that we've been doing today. But again, we were really lucky with the target. Thanks for the follow on Twitch. We were really, really lucky with the target here. If that had turned out to be a uh, an elite third lance with a wing of vultures, I mean, I would have had a much harder fight on my hands and probably would have to go and eat a, eat a rebuy. William says, just curious when hyperspace jumping, how do you get that ripple effect in the sequence when jumping? No, no sorry, sequence when counting down. Ripple effect? I'm not sure.
Marine Defender, you're very welcome. I'm glad you uh, like the YouTube videos and happy to see you here as well. And as well as Dr. Laura said, guys, please go down and give this, uh, this stream a like. I mean, if you didn't enjoy that, I don't know what to do to entertain you, to be honest. That was awesome. I loved that. <laughs> George says, I jumped on YouTube to, to look for a fun PvE member build and saw he was streaming. Glad I got to see that. <laughs> that was awesome. I got to make a clip out of that, I think. I have to go back and, and look at that and, and time that, how much time that took from, from when I engaged him. Now we can go in and we can hand in our mission. <laughs> and we have a lot of career jobs and massacre missions. And we actually have oh, wet works. We don't want to do murder. We have another urgent kill mission. Surface one though. Interesting. And we've got to pick influence because we are running for Terex and we want to increase our influence. So. Five classes for influence. Nice. Yeah, I would really love those um, biotech conductors, to be honest, but. Uh, Gotta do my uh, my part for Terra X as well, so I picked Influence. A conductive polymer is not as fun, but... Interact with the hub access terminal data link to find the target's location. So here we need to go planet side, scan, scan a thing. I don't have a uh, an SRV on this thing here, so that's no good. Another massacre, a lot of courier jobs. Courier jobs are good sources of influence as well. If you can get them to the same system, these are all over the place. And then we have wet works here. Wet works, those is often murder. So you'll probably get a bounty for that. Anyway, oh, I missed that notification. Sorry. I just want to go back and see can I can I fight my own live stream maybe now this is going to be a little confusing so sorry for that there we go oh the delay is really good by the way I'm just going to go back and see if I can fight the spot uh, this is where we're docking at Jameson yeah here we are overheating and here, oh yeah, here we are. We are collecting now. We're gonna keep an eye on the time. Where's the time? Hold on, I'm just gonna pause it here. Well, I need a stopwatch. So now we're gonna time it. We're gonna time it from. Ensure you have authorization before attempting to 
And we're gonna time it. What should we time it from, guys, in chat? Should we time it from now when he just arrived, or should we time it from? Um. Stopwatch. There we go. From when we engage him. Let's do it from when we first open fire on him. So I'm gonna start this here, and I have a uh, I have a stopwatch ready. Can you guys see this? Ooh. First impact. Okay, I agree. We gotta go from first impact. We gotta keep the sound on on this the rewatch here. So there we go. Now I decide to engage him. I dodge that first incoming plasma. I try to dodge the second one, but he hits me on the side. Closes that one. And oh, need to get the stopwatch ready here. Phones. There we go. I'm gonna wait for the first uh, first shot to fall. There we go. Blocking bay access is a crime. Don't risk annihilation. Make way. And his shield boosting. Or shield shell banking. But it doesn't matter. We take down his shields. Switch over. Work on his hull. Gonna get ready to stop it as soon as he reaches zero percent. There we go. Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds from first impact till Corvette is dead. <laughs> I just love this ship. It's so fun. <laughs> oh god. Okay. By the way, guys, if you are interested, um, I have. Over on again elite the like commander's toolbox. If you go in here under NPC combat, you will see a build guide for the PVE material collecting alliance chieftain, aka the blunderboss. Um Yeah, so if you're more interested in this build, there's a build guide for it here. There's a Coriolis link in here as well. All this stuff is on the commander's toolbox together with the cube combo, which you saw me fly earlier. Um and there's also a knowledge unit and a conda if you're more getting into the initial part of the game. So plenty of builds over there if you're interested. And again, it's not just combat, anti -sido. All the mining builds in the world. I actually forgot to add my latest mining build. I can see. I need to do that. That's a mistake. But yeah, all the mining builds in the world as well. So plenty of stuff over there. Anyway, I think I'm going to call it for today. Because... Again, as everybody else, I have to go to work tomorrow, even though work is just right here. But I still have to get up and get to work tomorrow morning. So I'm going to call it for today. I'm jump over here. Thanks a lot for all you guys um, been watching today. I really hope you enjoyed it. Remember to go down and give the stream a like if you haven't done already. Thanks a lot to Warnstein for donating today. It is awesome. It's very much appreciated. If any of you guys want to... Um, to donate there will now be a host of links spammed in chat you will find you can also go down and subscribe as George just did thank you by the way there will also be links in the description for both patreon for monthly subscript for monthly uh, support all links for one-time donations through streamlabs and um, there will be links for discord oh for the merch store this is also a way to support the channel if you want to buy merchandise like the mark I've been drinking off all night not this one but one similar or cool t-shirts with designs like this or other stuff go down check it out link for discord as well i hope i'll see you there i'll be hanging out on discord um after the stream so you're more than welcome to come over and say hi if you want um and i think that's it thanks a lot to don Gloro for once again um moderating the chat and uh, keeping you guys posted with uh, with links and everything next live stream is planned is of course next week same no, not same time because next week is daylight. Has we changed well, in Denmark? We've changed over to daylight saving, so that means that next week is gonna be seven o'clock in game time and not eight o'clock in game time. So it's gonna be pushed for an hour because of daylight saving. Keep that in mind. I'll also mention hello Dave on Monday, but next week is still both YouTube and Twitch, but it's gonna be seven o'clock and not eight o'clock in game time. So keep that in mind. Yes, it's still 2100 Danish time. So I, the live streams follows 9 o'clock Danish time. But because daylight saving, yeah. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And also next time, 
I'll see you guys in space.